Всем привет! My name is Vika, for those of you who watch me the first time, and I'm very glad to see you in my channel. Uh, I'm filming in the different apartment, as uh, you may see, and we are in a trip uh, in a city called Areol, which means eagle in Russian. And today is actually my birthday, <laughs> so yeah, yay, happy birthday! <laughs> um, I'm turning 23 today, and this trip is a gift from my husband. Uh, it was a complete surprise. I didn't know about the trip. He booked everything himself. He rented everything himself. And I was just so thankful <laughs> and happy about that. Areol is a small city, uh, which is about 300,000 of people. So um, we'll try to find some interesting places, we'll walk around, see just the city around and I have a couple museums in my mind that I'm thinking we may um, visit. But we are just mostly to relax here, to celebrate my birthday and to just hang out. Uh, the apartment is super cute, I'm going to show it to you right now. This is how everything looks. This is the kitchen and the living room area the kitchen is super cute and how you call it the lighter is just the be most beautiful one i've ever seen these are flowers that my husband gifted to me this morning they're just very nice very cute i like the colors uh i'm not a big fan of the amount of bulky furniture that is here i would get rid of everything here and I would get rid of the TV. But as an apartment for rent, it's a very nice one. I'm obsessed with these doors. Just look at them. These are old wooden doors that they painted. And like, look at these guys, how high the ceilings are. And this door is just huge, like, it's very big. Also like a living room area, uh, a lot of TVs and big furniture here. But I really like another part, which is like the bed area. Uh, here is a cute painting. I like big windows, like with big curtains. You know, there are three windows, so it just looks very nice. This is how Russian passport look, by the way. So, in case you're interested. <laughs> the bathroom. The bathroom is really cute too. Like it's just the toilet, washing machine, and the shower. We came here yesterday, but uh, we did nothing yesterday and I wasn't filming much. So, today we're going to spend some time walking around the city and I think we'll find a couple nice places to eat and that will take you with me. So, let's go! It's an old cinema. Uh, very old, very beautiful one, but it's closed. Uh, there is actually a problem with that type of old cinemas. In Tula we also have one like giant and beautiful, but it's also closed. There are some weird plants on the window. Okay, I kind of failed with my outfit today because it's very windy and my dress goes like woo! every time. <laughs> so I'm going back home to put shorts on.
I really like the central street. Uh, I really like its like historical and uh, like the vibe about literature. The city is actually a lot about literature because um, many Russian authors used to live in this city or like areas around. So it has a lot of memorials and museums uh, about these Russian authors, not the most famous ones, but famous quite famous in Russian, like Turgenev or I think Bunin also used to live somewhere near and some others, I don't know uh, all of them. And I'm standing here, I found a place where there is no wind <laughs> in some backyard. Found a weird place in the backyard with um, aroma lamps and things like that. symbol of the city and I think it's sort of a park yeah. this is a central bank building looks very beautiful I like this old buildings a lot um, but honestly they look a little bit abandoned here like there are some graffitis and you know it kind of looks kind of bad found the beautiful church again here I like uh, the architecture of Orthodox churches so much. They're so gorgeous. They're just incredibly beautiful from the inside and outside. And I feel sorry that I can't show you from the inside because I just don't feel comfortable filming in the church where people like pray and, and I'm also wearing shorts. So it's not very convenient uh, in the Orthodox church. So yeah, but at least you can see from the outside that it's so beautiful. There is some kind of crazy dance party nearby. I think you probably can hear the music and the noises. It's like very loud, <laughs> uh, right near the Orthodox Church. It's very funny. <laughs> Here is a memorial, probably for 400 uh, years anniversary of uh, the city at all. Here is a graffiti of one Russian singer and here's another kind of graffiti <laughs> so yeah i don't know if you're interested to see that <laughs> right in the middle of two rivers and here on the other side is the children's park with the playground and other stuff and you can hear crazy noises from there and also there is something about graffitis that aren't really suitable for the place <laughs> Here is a huge like children park, like a really big one.
this park is so big. We're just hanging out here because Agatha just likes this place. <laughs> so yeah, when you are traveling with a kid, you choose the place for a kid and not for yourself. put Agatha to sleep and Tola went for pizza but he actually called me and asked me to film how he would enter the apartment with pizza so probably he <laughs> decided to make uh, something like a surprise for me so I'm waiting for him <laughs> <laughs> Toya went to take pizza and he said that his wife had the best day today so they gave him uh, a free tiramisu cake <laughs> with a candle <laughs> uh, so it's like perfect we have a cake now and we have pizza I really like uh, the tasty and romantic setup that we have here we have two pizza Pepsi for Tola, uh, tea for me, and the Big Bang uh, Theory. <laughs> I'm drinking that tea, it's called uh, Crimea Bouquet, uh, and it contains some herbs, I really like it. Um, and yeah, we have two pizzas because they're very thin and they don't have much ingredients, <laughs> so I'm not sure if we would eat both of them, but we'll see. <laughs> I have just filmed a video for you guys about how we pack for our trips. I think I'll post it uh, before this vlog. So um, I'm waiting for Agatha to wake up and for my husband to come from the supermarket. Here is a building of Red Cross organization. Uh, I think it's a worldwide organization. They always uh, take very small old buildings here in Russia for some reason. We took a couple sandwiches uh, with us. Took a couple sandwiches and a water bottle and we're going to have a little picnic here. guys we saw something interesting in one yard like backyard and I think it's a church but we'll see the funny thing is that it's a bank Sberbank it's our like the most popular bank in Russia so I don't know why they took that beautiful building that looks like a church a little bit but why not Communist party is very strong here. I've seen a ton of 
uh, posters like everywhere around the city. And I haven't seen anything like that in any other city that we've been to. Very unfortunately, we came to this museum. It looks very cute. Um, it's the house of Russian author Liskov, one of Russian like classic authors. And unfortunately, it says that it doesn't work because there is some kind of reconstruction here or something like that. And it is not working. It is really beautiful here. I do, I do to you. I do. Kaluga city that we visited last time was all about space. So this city is all about writers. Um, so we're going to visit another museum. It's a very small one. I don't think it would take much of our time. A uh, museum of all the writers that used to live in Nariol or around. The woman in the museum was kind of <laughs> surprised <laughs> that we came to see the museum. Uh, it was a little bit awkward, but she was like, you want to see the museum? <laughs> and we were like, yes. <laughs> so yeah, it was a little bit weird. I can't say that the museum was very interesting. It was very small. I think it took us about 15 minutes to go and see everything but it was fun just to walk around and see the interiors and to see all the paintings and to learn a little bit more about writers that used to live here so it was fun but not like very interesting нету спрятались не видно Вот они, кролики спрятались, спрятались, не видно, Е, вот они, кролики, да? Found something Chinese in a random backyard.
we decided that this day would go a little bit a different way that we planned before uh, because we had to get out of our apartment at about 12 uh, a.m. It's about 12.30 now and um, we are going to another small town to the country house of Turgenev and 12 a.m. is approximately the time when Agatha goes to sleep so right now we'll get a taxi and we'll go for about an hour i hope she'll get a nap in the car because it's highly unlikely that <laughs> she will sleep in any other place than a car and we got a ton of snacks for her healthy snacks <laughs> i got her yogurt and other stuff so uh, we got we got also sandwiches for lunch and we'll have a lunch there in that country house there is a museum and we'll have like an excursion there i hope so and then we'll go to the train station uh at another city not the one that we have the tickets from but we called to our train uh, company and they said that we can get into the train uh on the train on our way so I hope that we won't have any troubles <laughs> with that. So yeah, right now we're looking for a taxi and we will have a drive to the country house. It's Russian traditional, like national <laughs> air force uh, military day. And for some reason it's traditional for these guys to get drunk and swim in the fountains. Here, although it's illegal, <laughs> but that's kind of normal for this holiday. <laughs> Here is a very old um, Soviet style hotel, and here's the main square. Um, here's the administration building, and here's the main theater. We are waiting outside of the museum territory. Uh, we left our belongings there and just walking uh, here and just racing, waiting till Agatha will woke up. I actually thought that our plan would not work uh, because I was not sure that she'll fall asleep in the taxi, but she did. And she didn't wake up when we got out of the taxi. So it's like perfect. Uh, we bought our tickets for the excursion and we are just waiting for her to wake up. So glad actually that we did that little step out of our comfort zone because, you know, traveling with a toddler can be complicated and not very comfortable but i'm very glad that we're here we can spend the whole day just very far from the city the air is so breathable here so nice so fresh and um, just agatha can run around in the woods and we'll see the museum and it's, it's it has a giant territory and i don't know what we would do in the city the whole day because we can't come back to our apartment uh, after we move out from it in 12 a.m. so and our train is very late in the evening so yeah I'm very glad that we came here <laughs> it was a little bit complicated Agatha was not really in the mood in the taxi but she fell asleep uh, quite fast so I'm really glad <laughs>
situation in the house was very interesting, but uh, it wasn't allowed to film there. So unfortunately, I had to only take photos, but I'll put them right here for you. <laughs> Когда вы будете в Спасском, поклонитесь от меня дому, саду, моему молодому дубу. Родине поклонитесь, которую я уже, вероятно, никогда не увижу. It's very peaceful here and there is very small amount of people. I've seen only a couple of them except us and we were the only people on the excursion probably because it's Monday. <laughs> I really like when something like that happens and you feel like everything is for you. <laughs> We are on the train station waiting for our train. We have about half of the hour to wait. And there was actually a fun story with the um, uh, bus that you saw. Uh, we were waiting on the bus station for a bus. Uh, we knew that it should come, but uh, the bus came a little bit earlier than it's supposed to. And we made him a sign that we want to sit that we want him to stop and we want to sit. So he stopped, we uh, came in, uh, the bus started to go uh, further, and we sat down, we said um, good day to the driver, and usually only driver answers back. But here everybody, there were three guys in the whole bus, they also said good, good day to us. And it was kind of weird that we thought maybe it's just because it's a village. <laughs> so um, we sat down and Tolia went to the driver to ask how much we should pay. And the driver was like, well, uh, it's actually a private bus from the Agra factory for uh, employers. So it just catches workers on the way <laughs> from their homes and drives down to the factory. And we were like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, they gave us a ride to the city and probably the actual like real bus that we're supposed to take 
was going to come a little bit later, but we didn't mind that because it was free, uh, it was more comfortable and they were all very sweet, so it was very kind of them to catch us up, although they didn't have to do that. <laughs> And we went out uh, in the center of the little town here and we went five kilometers, guys, uh, to the train station. We are very tired, we are waiting for our train and we are going to come home very soon. We are very tired but very happy it was a really nice trip for a couple of days i feel really glad that i could spend my birthday in a different place experience some new places and uh, thank you guys for staying with us for experiencing this new placing with us uh, thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye